Mike Snyder from ATV, and today I'm here at Kraft Music to show you the 85 electronic drums. For a great deal, check out the bundles at Kraft Music. The 85 focuses on quality over quantity. You're not gonna find hundreds of throwaway sounds that you will never use. What you are gonna find is five pristinely sampled kits that are incredibly playable. And because it's software based, you'll be able to add to that library in the future. Playability, expressiveness is no more evident anywhere than in symbols. Unbelievable is all I'm going to say. I've been playing electronic drums for a lot of years. And for most of those years, I've been overplaying the instrument. In fact, I think most electronic drummers do. They're playing it full dynamic to try to achieve the impact of an acoustic drum set. That leaves them with no headroom. With the 85, what I've had to do is forget what I know about playing electronic drums and go back to applying my acoustic drum technique to the instrument. This is particularly noticeable on the snare drum. When I played really, really hard and dug into the rim, I got that extra punch that I actually find in acoustic drums. For the first time, I have it in electronic drums. It's inside the 85. The toms we're about to listen to are from a stock drum set called True Acoustic. They have impeccable quality, but they still have individual character, just like our acoustic drums. In fact, just a few minutes ago in soundcheck, I hit the floor tom, and instinctively, because it sounded so natural, I went to put my hand on the drum to mute it. It didn't work, but it just is a testament to how true they sound. In fact, let's hear them. Each one of those drums, although from the same drum set, sounded very different. You had a buzz, actually an imperfection at a certain volume in this one. You had this one, who didn't ring as long. This one had an incredible ring out. In fact, when I played it and played multiple hits, you'd actually hear the bottom and the top head interacting. Just amazing. I now treat this kit and the kits in the 85 just like my acoustic drums. Oh, I want those toms because of this characteristic, or I want those cymbals because of this characteristic. Truly amazing. Just like the rest of the voices of the drum set, the kick is incredibly expressive. 
What you're going to hear is a jazz kick. It's a stock kit, Legacy Jazz. And I'm going to play soft to loud. And when I bury the beater at a loud dynamic, it's going to mute the bass drum, a performance technique that we use quite a bit nowadays. That's cool. <laughs> The 85 is compatible with pads from all the major manufacturers. As you can see here, I'm playing a little bit of a mishmash of pads. A little bit of Yamaha, a little bit of Roland. Those profiles for those pads are built right in. There are also kit profiles available now for all the major kit configurations from the manufacturers. So if I'm replacing a module on a particular manufacturer's kit, all I have to do now is go in and load in the trigger settings all my pad types and basic settings are set and ready to go. Makes it really easy. Again, check out Craft for some interesting package deals. And if you don't see the exact configuration you're looking for, make sure you contact them because they will set you up with a great custom bundle. The build quality on the AD5 is outstanding. When I first received it, I went as far as to go out and create a custom case for it because it deserved to be in a custom case. It is really old school. It's heavy, the chassis is metal, the quarter inch jacks are mounted in old school style with nuts and washers. It's an incredible build. Now the AD5 comes with five great sounding drum sets in it. But you can take those, clone them, rename them, and create your own by mixing and matching all the different voices of the drum set. Another great feature is that you can save the trigger setup profiles. And what I mean is, I've gone in and customized the 85 to match my playing style, because we all play differently. If you're in a situation like in a worship band where you have multiple drummers coming through, Every Sunday, it may be a different drummer. They can have their own trigger profile on an SD card and load it in. It takes about 30 seconds, and that 85 will become theirs, just like their acoustic drums. One of the problems with electronic drums for years has been the dreaded L word. That's latency. Latency is the time from when I hit the pad to actually hear sound back. We've seen in the past latencies as high as 12, 13, 14, 15 milliseconds. That's quite frankly unacceptable. Now acoustic drums also have a built-in latency and I don't think most drummers think about this. It takes about four milliseconds for the sound to get from my bass drum to my ear about two milliseconds from my snare drum to my ear. So I noticed this a couple years ago. I was looking at Pro Tools tracks of my playing. It was a really simple tune. And I'm looking at my bass drum, and it's consistently early to my hi-hat and my snare drum. And I'm thinking, my time is bad. But then it hit me is that I'm compensating for the added latency for my bass drum, about two milliseconds, 
so that all these sounds get to my ear at the same time blew me away. We use one and two milliseconds and three milliseconds as a drummer to slide the time around, to create feel and tension in what we do. With the 85, we have some of the lowest latency in the industry, about 2.1 milliseconds. It's truly amazing, better than acoustic drums. The five factory kits are stunning, but as amazing as they are, we've just begun to scratch the surface as to what's possible with playability and sound quality. In fact, there's plenty of room for expansion. Now, I can't tell you a lot, otherwise I'm gonna lose my job, but just wait for what's coming from ATV. It's gonna blow your mind. And there you have it, the 85 from ATV, an electronic drum experience like you've never had. Once again, I'm Mike Snyder here at Kraft Music. Thank you for watching. <laughs>